Hello, my name is Ella Fields. Welcome to the video. I hope everyone is having a nice and restful quarantine so far. I've been enjoying it. I've had a lot of time to do some very creative things and to kind of let my mind breathe and heal and think because I have so much free time to now kind of do the random things that I have always wanted to do. I decided to start a little series. I don't know if there's like a name for it yet or anything, but like let me know if you can come up with anything because I'm hoping to keep this going because I think it's a really fun and cute idea that I'll enjoy doing and hopefully people will enjoy hearing. But basically with each video, I'm going to be reading one of my children's books. I'll be reading it, it'll be like a little story circle, story time, bedtime stories. I hope I like bedtime stories. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to like think of like a name and stuff. I keep doing it but basically I'm going to be reading an iconic book from my childhood and reading it and showing pictures and then afterwards talking about how it affected me and some little facts about the book or symbolism or whatnot because I feel like the stories we read as a kid really shape who we are as people so today for the first book that I'm gonna read this is probably the most iconic book from my childhood and I know it's very popular as well and a lot of people read this book themselves when they were children. I'm going to be reading Good Night Moon. This is one of my favorite books. Um, this is actually the same copy I had from when I was little. You can see it's kind of beat up. Hopefully it'll give you some nice nostalgic feelings. And then afterwards I'll talk a little bit about how it's affected me and some facts and symbolism. I'm excited. I don't really know like what this is going to turn into but I think it's just kind of like a nice little fun thing for me to do to keep me occupied and I'm just obsessed with nostalgia. I have a big pink suitcase in my room of like every single one of my children's books. I've been revisiting a lot of things from my childhood lately, especially having so much time in this whole quarantine. One of the most fascinating feelings to me is when you're reading something or watching something that you used to read or watch and it brings up memories that you didn't even know you had. I think that's just so crazy that we have so much kind of buried deep inside us. It only takes like a movie or a book to bring it out. Point being, I'm hoping to remind people of their own childhoods and I think it's really interesting to analyze these books and stories and see how they affect us now. So, Good Night Moon. It is by Margaret Wise Brown. This classic bedtime story which has lulled generations of children to sleep is the perfect first book to share with a child. Alright, Good Night Moon. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon, and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting in chairs, and two little kittens, and a pair of mittens, and a little toy house, and a young mouse, and a comb, and a brush, and a bowl full of mush, and a quiet old lady who was whispering, hush. Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light and the red balloon. Good night, bears. Good night, chairs. Good night, kittens and good night, mittens. Good night, clocks and good night, socks. Good night, little house and good night, mouse. Good night, comb and good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the old lady whispering, hush. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. This is the cutest book. I love it. It's really interesting. So, I was reading up a little bit on this book. And the author, Margaret Wise Brown, she actually wrote this based off of her own bedtime routine as a child, which I think is so cute. She never had children of her own, even though she wrote this the biggest children's book, but she wrote this to kind of pay homage to her own childhood. Also, it was written, I think, to shed light on the little things in life. So when this book came out in the 1940s, it almost introduced a new kind of literature that is about the here and the now and the present moment. Because a lot of fairy tales were about huge like abstracts like dragons and princesses and like all these crazy fairy tales and they all had real life messages but this book, Good Night Moon, it was realistic and it was simple and it kind of brought you back to 
your own life and your own present moment. And of course, it was just a great bedtime story. Like when I think about this book, it gives me a very, very calming feeling, the feeling of kind of euphoria and like sleepiness and getting ready to go to bed as a kid. One of my favorite visuals is the cow jumping over the moon. Fun fact, I don't I don't know how 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 much I'll stick to this, but I'm planning on when I turn 18 to get a tattoo of the cow jumping over the moon like on the back of my neck or someplace like tiny and hidden. But I'm planning to get that tattoo to kind of represent my childhood because I feel like this book represents my childhood in very many ways. The way that I think this story impacted me was definitely just paying attention to the little things in life, which is something that I try and do a lot. We can all get too caught up in the big picture of things and the grand fairy tales that our lives should be. But sometimes it's really nice just to sit down and look at the things around us and, and give every single thing the credit it deserves because the little things, I think, are what make us the people who we are. And especially during times like these when there isn't much grand life to look forward to, I think it is more important now than ever. Oh, there's a fluff find joy in the little things in life. So that's Goodnight Moon. Comment if you have any ideas for names and like even if you want me to keep doing this. I have so many children's books like I could make videos about this for days and days and days but let me know if it interests you at all or if you want to keep seeing these kind of videos. That's it. I hope everyone has a lovely day. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.